Welcome back. You are always in lecture 11, but this time is 11.2. So we're going to see JavaScript JSON. This lesson is very important because uh, next time or next semester, uh, you'll be using uh, JSON a lot in other courses. And in real life or web development, you'll be using also JSON. It's a very uh, interesting technique to send and receive data from the server. So, uh, it's about exchanging data, and we exchange data between what? Of course, the client and the server. Uh, the way we exchange data, we have either plain text, which is unformatted, any text, or well-formatted text, where we have XML, JSON, and comma-separated uh, files. So, uh, JSON is or stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's a native, it's JavaScript native, so it's very efficient. And uh, it's about, it's a text or file of text of data, and that data is properly or well formatted. There is a pattern, okay? So it's used, of course, to exchange data between the server or the web server and the browser at the client uh, side transporting data in network um, so if you want to send or convert any javascript object into json oh sorry if you want to send data from our client to the server we may use this json object okay to transform our object javascript object into string and save them into a text a text string as a json format or if you want to bring data from the server to the client, we need to bring the data in a JSON format, which is pure normal text. But we, once it's in on, the, on the client side, the browser or JavaScript will transform the JSON strings into object, JavaScript object. So the JavaScript objects are very similar to JSON objects. Very similar because JSON is about JavaScript, it's a native. And there is no complicated parsing and translation as we used with the XML. So JSON is more, is better, it's more flexible. However, XML is older and it, it can really handle the old legacy systems. So this is the JSON syntax. <coughs> and the syntax is purely derived from the JavaScript uh, object notation. Remember JavaScript. Well, JavaScript objects are always, we always use curly brackets, and we have a key and a value. Now, in JSON, the key, it's a must. Whatever key you have, it must be, it's a must to be inside the uh, double quotes. Value, it depends. If it's a string, it's going to be double quote. If it's a number, so it's going to be a number without quotes, if you like. Uh, the J JavaScript objects can have an array inside, so so does or so can JSON. All right, so this is all the values. When I say values, I mean this one, not the attribute or the key. So the kind of values that JSON can uh, handle are the string, same thing with the JavaScript object. So this column is JSON object, and this is pure JavaScript object, the, the similarities, if you like, or the comparison. So both they have string, they can allow data or values of string, number, a nested object, okay, uh, an array, which is very powerful here when we have it in the JSON. We don't have it, by the way, in X, XML, a Boolean and a none. The only thing that you cannot have here, or only things are the function, the date, and, and the find. You cannot find them in the JSON object, but of course they are in the normal JavaScript object. Now, I want you to remember this. Uh, the key is always between double quotes and the value, it depends, or it depends. If it's a string, it must be double quote, not single quote, like in this example, all right? Okay? Now, this is an example. Remember, guys, when we used last time the XML file for the employees. So I have here employees tag, begin and end, and two employees with many data. In JSON, see how we do it? Since this is a data, all right, employee one or record and another one, we are putting them into an array. So the employees here is the key, okay, and column 
then value. The value here happens to be an array. Inside an array, we have the first object, then comma, the second object. Up to here. Inside each object, we have uh, a key and a value. A key and a value, okay? And separated by the comma. This is an object with an array, and the array is an array of objects here. So the comparison between the JSON and uh, XML, they do the same thing, okay? It's an alternative, if you like, okay? One is an, uh, an alternative of the, of the other one, but nowadays we usually use JSON, very powerful. It is very portable. Uh, XML is also very portable, but it's very flexible, easy to manipulate, all right? So both they describe, they are self-describing with tags and or with names, keys and values. They are higher, 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 higher icons, sorry. Uh, so values within values, an object inside an object, a tag is inside another tag, and both they can be interpreted or parsed, all right, and processed using uh, some API uh, functions, and they can be used by many programming languages, all right, PHP, Java, JavaScript. Both can be fetched with an XML HTTP request. So this is the most of the time you're going to bring your JSON or, or XML from the server using this Ajax, okay, this Ajax object. The main differences here between the two is JSON doesn't require a tag, it's more simple, more flexible, shorter, and it's more efficient because it's JavaScript native and it doesn't need a lot of uh, API functions for parsing. And it can use arrays, which is very uh, fast and very efficient. So XML is very hard to parse because you have, have many uh, API functions and you have to be really precise. JSON, on the other hand, the parsing is really, really easy. Well, let's talk about the parsing here. So when I have a string and I want to uh, get it from the server, is I have a text, a JSON text, and get it from the server and manipulate it on the client, I need to fetch that string and parse it into a set of objects. So I use this function, or I use this object, json.parse. I'm going to use an example here. I'm going to copy this, or oh, let's go here. Uh, I have a JavaScript, and I have this example. All right, so I'm going to go to console here and work with this. So I have my string. So uh, just imagine that this is in my server and I bring it in my string here. Now, by the way, see the object, guys? It's a key, colon, value, comma, another key, colon, and the value, comma, and another key, value. The keys, they must be between double quote. The values, if they are string, it's double quote. Okay, the value is double quote if it's a string, and if it's a number, it's a number, all right? But you cannot use single quote. Now, what do I do if I want to transform this into uh, an object, okay, uh, a JavaScript object? Let's call it str opt. I'm going to use JSON predefined object and pass. What do I supply? I supply my string. Now, see what happened? What to this string object, I have the normal JavaScript object. All right, so I have the grade, the mark, and the user ID. So user ID, mark, and grade. Here it's listed in an alph alphabetical order. Now notice that user ID is not between double code because it's a JavaScript object. All right. Okay, I want you guys to remember this. If I want to get the values of this object, I use this very uh, simple. So I have this uh, predefined API from the object type, and here I'm going to use my my string or my object. I don't remember. Uh, a string object, sorry. So, string 
object. Mm. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see our object. And oh, sorry, the uh, I'm not using parsing. Um, so object dot values and str ops and I get my array of all the values if I want the keys I'm going to use keys here and I get all the values for the keys so these two functions values and keys coming from the object uh, predefined uh, JavaScript objects uh, are very powerful I'm going to use them a lot all right now, the other way, if I have some objects in JavaScript and I want to send them to the server, okay, I need to transform my JavaScript object into a text or a string, and that is done with the string stringify. All right, so just imagine I have here an object. I'm going to copy this. Uh, Right. Is it copyable? So user ID. I have some problems here in the copying. So Peter Smith. Mark. Grave. It's an array guy. By the way, this is an array. So this is the first object. And this, oh, I'm going to copy properly now. It's a PDF, so it's very, it's not really. I have them here. Uh, I'm going to copy them here. No, it doesn't really copy properly. Mm, how do I do this? Okay, which one be? So user ID. Smith user ID is Jones and user ID and so I have to close here the object so this is the second object and this is the last object and that is the first object okay and it's an array All right, so I have an array. Good. I'm going to use this array of objects and transform it into into uh, JSON format. What is the error? Uh, it's in the grid. Here, yeah, it doesn't matter if you use single code. It's okay because it's a normal JavaScript object. But if it's a JSON object, a text, it has to be double code. All right. Now let's say this is my my student array object. Okay. So you see, you see, it's an array, and I want to transform it into JSON. Okay. To be stored as a text, a JSON text. So what do I do? I use the uh, JSON stringify. So my output, my JSON output, str, and here we use the JSON dot stringify. So we have either pass or stringify, and we pass our JavaScript object. Now notice guys how it's transforming. Do you see this B? Uh, okay. This is how it's being transformed as a very long uh, string. Can you see a double quote guys at the beginning? And double quote at the end here. Alright. Uh, JSON on all the browsers doesn't is not supported, especially uh, Internet uh, 8. Uh, Chrome is good, uh, but 3.5, so prior to, prior to 8 is not supported. 
prior to 3.54 Firefox is not supported, so these are the versions here, guys. And we have a way to uh, run using or to, uh, uh, if you like, find an alternative for pass, JSON pass, and JSON stringify. So the alternative is to use the built-in eval, okay, evaluate, evaluation, it's going to evaluate eval function, but this is very, very uh, risky, okay, you have to be very careful not to run some uh, uh, script or malicious script. Now, JSON is really used a lot with the uh, HTTP request object, okay, XML HTTP request, so it's extensively used in AJAX, you're going to see an example when we do the demo, and so I'm going to show you this one when we do the class demo. And the last one here is about why do we prefer JSON. Okay, so guys, go through this. It's really easy. I mentioned many of them while I was explaining the slides. Okay, so XML is more difficult to pass. You have very, uh, you have to go with the get elements by tag names. Go to first array element, and you're going to navigate through the tree. All right, it's a bit difficult. We see when we compare the code. Whereas JSON is very flexible, bulky here, a lot of tags, uh, parsing is very difficult, and it's not JS na native, but JSON is purely JS, JavaScript. Faster, okay, uh, and JSON also can do the fetch, uh, to fetch a string, or we can pass uh, the string, JSON pass the string, the JSON string. All right, so uh, the next lecture, we're going to be about the uh, hands-on. I'm going to do some demonstrations, two or three examples. Thank you.